I will tell you this though, they're the sweetest, nicest women in the world. They will take their bare hands and wipe the humid sweat right off of your damn forehead. Couldn't believe it that they would do that. I thought it was the sweetest thing in the world, the most enduring thing, and like it really showed that she cared. And a good number of you who are watching these blogs are going to pick a romance tour and join a great group of guys. Get on a plane and travel to someplace fantastic. tell them frankly when you meet these women is just tell them you're looking for Helga but anyway looking for Helga what does that mean I think it's just kind of a cute analogy to use for the, the kind of person that you're looking for and why you're there looking for someone so who's Helga Helga Testor is who I'm speaking of so here's here's Helga Testor's story okay she was born in 1939 she grew up in a convent uh, she ultimately moved to, uh, migrated to the United States from Germany. She met her husband in Pennsylvania. She worked in Philadelphia at a tannery. And uh, in her, her youth, uh, her young adulthood, she moved to Chadsford, Pennsylvania. And then ultimately she moved to the coast of Maine. On the coast of Maine, she found a farmer who needed a nursemaid. She had studied to be a nurse. She became a nursemaid for a gentleman named Carl Kerner, who owned a farm. And uh, Helga went on to have a successful marriage and life. And she raised four children, and uh, for all we know, just lived happily ever after. She's still alive today, actually. So what's the big deal about Helga Testor? All right, so Kerner, the farmer who uh, Helga took care of, had a neighbor. And the neighbor was the American painter Andrew Wyatt, who in 1971 also needed a nursemaid, discussed this with Carl Kerner, whom uh, he had befriended and had painted a number of times. Carl, of course, made the referral for his wonderful nursemaid to come and help Andrew Wyatt. Uh, with uh, you know, uh, simple care. Andrew Wyeth met Helga, he immediately became smitten with her in the sense that an artist becomes smitten with a model and he proceeded to draw and paint Helga 240 times over the next 14 years. So if you know anything about art at all, it's okay if you don't, here's your first art lesson. It's a really cool one. Andrew Wyeth painted a number of great paintings. You've seen them, I promise you. If you looked on the internet, if you've had any exposure to art whatsoever, you will recognize some of, uh, some of the paintings. Well, Andrew painted his nursemaid, Helga Testor, again, over 240 times. Remarkable, beautiful paintings, a, a tremendous collection. And of course, as their relationship deepened, some of those you know, expanded into nude portraits and that kind of thing. But, but if you look at the collection, which spans 14 years, you see obviously one very, very talented, iconic artist's obsession with one particular model, probably the last time in art that a woman was made famous by, by being the subject of so many paintings. And Helga is just, just a plain, strawberry blonde, tall, green-eyed girl from, uh, from Germany, from, from Pennsylvania. I mean, no particular claim to fame other than the fact that Andrew Wyeth obviously saw her, studied her, was obsessed with her very plain beauty, uh, and, and proceeded to make her famous. In 1985, he revealed this enormous collection of paintings that were known previously only to him and Helga and Andrew Wyeth's wife. And, you know, basically Andrew painted Helga with, with, with his wife's blessing, and there was no affair or anything going on. But he released this collection to the public. It made Helga famous overnight. She was very shy and, and modest and, and definitely didn't appreciate the attention that that brought to her. But of course, she was incredibly flattered by the paintings. And look, just imagine on the coast of Maine, on the coast of southern Maine, with the salt air flowing through your house, the beautiful breezes, the quiet curtains just moving as the windows are open, the chirping birds, the butterflies, the, the sweet smells of summer drifting into autumn. Andrew Wyeth with his beautiful model on a bed in a modest bedroom, painting or drawing and studying every detail of that woman. That is a man who appreciated the beauty of one woman immensely. And you know, guys, we're looking for Helga. I mean, essentially, we're not just looking for a life partner. We're not just trying to fill a void with anybody who could fill that void to spend the rest of our lives with. 
We want Helga. We want a woman who absolutely stimulates us. We want a woman, you know, we can't take our eyes off of. We want a woman whose simple gestures, whose simple facial expressions, whose very, very basic movements will completely excite us, right? And we want to study those things. We, we want to just imagine our beautiful woman sleeping in the darkness next to us as we lie awake, just studying her features and, and appreciating her beauty. And you know, that's something you can communicate to these women, whether you're, you're meeting them for the first time, as long as you, you know, do it carefully and tactfully, but you're looking for somebody who you can love and appreciate, somebody you can't take your eyes off, somebody really, really special to you, somebody who's going to have that role for the rest of your life, somebody who's going to complete who you are and just make every single day special and exciting. And when you think of that person, you think of someone like Helga Testor, and just tell that story. It's a great story, how beautiful and special and remarkable. We love stories like that. Uh, just share that story in correspondence, share it on a date. But of course, before you share that story, guys, go out on the internet and just look up Helga, beautiful Helga, Andrew Wyatt's you know, beloved model for many, many, many years and just feel his appreciation for her beauty. That's obviously what we're trying to do. We're trying to fill that void in our life and meet that kind of a person. The good news is, if you get on a plane and go in just about any direction outside of the United States, you can meet literally thousands and thousands of such incredibly beautiful women who have no idea how beautiful and special and remarkable they are and are going to be to you. It's a little story, guys, but I hope it's meaningful in some way, and I hope this uh, helps you move forward in some way as well. Again, we're always available for you guys to call and uh, email and talk to, so get on the phone, reach us, and let us know how we can help you move forward and meet somebody. To learn more, visit our website at chinabrides.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.